we going today? Whoa, whoa. Disney, specifically Typhoon Lagoon, Disney's water park. One of Disney's water parks. This is the first time I've ever been to Typhoon Lagoon and they're actually parking people. So it probably is gonna be a busy day here. It's a super humid day here. So I have a feeling hopefully it doesn't rain, but it probably will. Welcome to Disney's Typhoon Lagoon. Living the beach life. Everybody's got funny colored hands. I like it. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. To admit, the smell of mini donuts in the morning is very enticing. This is kind of interesting. There's a surf report here that doesn't make much sense at all. Surf's up at 10 a.m. I guess the surf wave, like the waves start at 10 a.m. They go from 10 a.m. to 11.30. And then there's another wave that happens from 12 to 1.30. And the, I don't, I don't, there's just too many numbers on here. I don't get it. But what a beautiful scene out there. I think I should get my bathing suit on and start getting in the water because these clouds are not looking favorable to me. I think I figured it out. They're like doing really big waves here right now. Like I just saw one come through that was pretty darn giant. Let's see if another one will happen. I know that you can rent out Typhoon Lagoon in the morning to go surfing in. I've never done it before. A bunch of my friends from high school have done it though. It's pretty expensive, but if you get like 10 guys, I think it's like a hundred bucks a person. And you get to tell them how you want the waves to come to shore. Here comes one. Yeah, that's a pretty darn big wave. That was pretty awesome though. They like have a little kid acting super excited to either ride the ride or just get off the ride. Okay, let's get our bathing suit on for real this time. I feel like this bar over by Crush and Gusher might be new. It's got a beer flight, an all beef hot dog, and you can get nachos, which actually look really good. I don't remember this bar being here before, but it's here now. Also over here by Crush and Gusher is some like special reserve seating that you can get, which actually looks very comfortable and very nice. And a cabana. I would like to rent this cabana because it's in the perfect spot. Wonder how much it is. We're gonna start out the day here at Typhoon Lagoon like we did yesterday at Volcano Bay with their water coasters. First stop, Crushing Gusher, presented by Chiquita. Now I do have to admit, I feel like the theming here at Typhoon Lagoon is much more immersive than Volcano Bay, which is kind of funny because Volcano Bay is called a water theme park, but I feel like this is more theming. Here we go! Woohoo! Whoa! Yay! Oh, it's dark in here. Wow. It's pretty scary. Woohoo! Whoa! Whoa! Whee! So the question then becomes what's the trade off? Really high theming, uh, but a not as thrilling ride? Although, I guess there is like kind of a lot of theming at Volcano Bay, man, this is hard. Really is hard to compare the two. This roller coaster was not nearly as thrilling as Krakatau, but it's still kind of the same. Like you walk in a themed entrance and then it's just tubes. So I don't know, let's go try to ride another one. Our next stop is Misadventure Falls. And this one looks like it's a lot longer line, but it says it's only five minutes. Speaking of theming, little things like this, where there's like little parrot prints in the ground and it looks like something was dragging treasure across here and there's little coins and stuff that was left behind and that's that's pretty darn immersive you won't see anything like that at volcano bay here we go spinning that's so funny it looks like the animatronic is working this time so i'll get to see him the last time that i rode this he wasn't moving Just our sailors, minute. Fucking tight. Oh no. Oh, I'm all wet already. Whee! Oh, the darkness. Oh, oh, I'm going to go right through the middle. Ah, I didn't even get wet. I mean, I sort of got wet. A little bit wet. This is uh, kind of relaxing. This is nice. This is nice. There's a giant 
giant head right there, which seems awfully frightening. But other than that, this is kind of relaxing. They gave me a PhotoPass card. They said they couldn't scan my magic band. I assume that has something to do with it being wet or like they can't get the things near the water. So it looks like the Shark Reef area is still closed. So I think our next set of rides are these tubes right here. I was a little bit off. It looks like the storm slides are first and then Humunga Cowabunga. Let's go ride a storm slide. I don't know which one. It looks like there's a whole bunch of them. I keep going back and forth in my head as to whether this is more themed or less themed than Volcano Bay. I have to admit, I think it's probably very similar but like winding paths are a little bit nicer here than they are at Volcano Bay. But once the like growth comes in and all the plants mature at Volcano Bay like they have here, I think it'll be very similar to this. And once they finish, like they're not done with the theming yet at Volcano Bay, they definitely opened it prematurely. Last time I was here, I did the jib jammer. I'm gonna do it with either the stern burner or the rudder buster this time. Here we go. Whee! Ow, ow, oh man. These joints really hurt my back, ow. Ow! 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 Oh, it's dark! Oh, it's really dark! Oh! Wow! Jeez Louise! Oh, man! Good! Whee! Alright, now it's time for Humunga Cowabunga. Let's do it. It looks like nobody's going down it. There's a little overlook here so you can see anybody coming out of the slides. I don't see anybody. Let's go do it. Alright, this is the big one. We just gotta wait for the green light. Here we go! We made it. That was pretty fun. Uh, a little bit more painful than that 300 foot drop or 200 foot drop that we did at Volcano Bay. Still pretty fun. On to the next ride. I wonder how much they're selling this boat for. I feel like I could probably fix this boat, right? Eh, it's got some pretty big holes in it. Maybe not. I think our next stop is Gangplank Falls. It's a family raft ride, but I'm here by myself. Let's see how we do. I should be able to go on by myself, right? It looks like you have to get a raft here at the end and then carry your own up here to the top, which isn't very far. It's like five, ten steps. I don't know what it is about Typhoon Lagoon in particular, but I always have trouble with the GoPro here. Like, I just rode Gangplank Falls, and it only recorded as we were loading into the raft, and then that was it. It just stopped when we started going. I don't know why, and then it just said saving for a really long time. So, I don't know why that happened, but good thing to know that it doesn't say on this on this sign right here is that you have to have at least two people to ride this ride. They put me with another family, which is very nice, but uh, I, I couldn't ride it by myself. I think these are the last two rides that I have to ride here is Mayday Falls and Keelhaul Falls. So let's go do it. goodness oh geez oh, oh, oh. holy moly i'm running into everything whoa it's all about me oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh geez this is a rough ride whoa whoa whoa, oh, whoa. all right I think they recoded this slide with soft membranes. Nice. Didn't quite make it very far in the touchdown. Our next ride is Keelhaw Falls, and it looks like there's gonna be a little bit of a wait. Oh, buddy. Here we go. Feel like I'm barely moving. This is some, uh, some speed demon, some slides. Oh, we're going fast now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh buddy. Whoa. Whoa! All right, I'm creating a wave. Whoa! 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 All right. Well, that was exciting. About 11:45 now. We got here at 10. We've done all the rides now. Probably got in the water at 10:30. Yeah, we did everything. 
except for the lazy river which we're in now and the wave pool this cave is not nearly as cool as the one at volcano bay dang it was about like five feet short i guess we still need to go up on the lookout like the walkway i just remember those being very hot from the summer sun attention potatoes have no fear to brave the storm slides exit here all right, so if you're a potato and you want to ride the slides. Oh no, tubers like this. This is a tube. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think I've done it all. We haven't gone in the surf pool yet, but we did Castaway Creek just now. I can't get, this is for little little kids. Keel Hall Falls, Mayday Falls, Gangplank Falls, Humonga Cowabunga, Storm Slides, Misadventure Falls. I uh, haven't done either of these two because this one is for our kids. And then Crush and Gusher. So we've done everything. Now let's see if we can get something to eat. Holy cow, Lilo is out here doing a meet and greet. I'm gonna get in line. It's pretty awesome. Hi Lilo! Alright, I'm gonna get the other camera so that I can go get some lunch and then hopefully it doesn't rain on me when I have the other camera out. I like this, in case of typhoon, cut the rope and this is what you'll sit on and wash away in the typhoon, I guess. I'm gonna try the Leaning Palms Resort Dining or Placid Palms Resort. I like it. Let's give it a try. I know that I always get the burger, but I'm gonna get the burger here. They got the island burger. Oh, the other stuff just doesn't look that appealing to me. There goes Lilo. Hi Lilo! I wanted to show you guys the acceptable forms of ID here if you're getting an uh, adult beverage. Here's my island burger that I got. It's got pineapple and pulled pork on it. It looks pretty good. And then I got a frozen lemonade. But oh, the island burger comes with french fries and coleslaw, which is not bad, but this is like a $13 burger. I don't think it's worth $13, but like I always say, and nothing in the theme parks is. Fun fact, they don't have any straws in the water park, so I have to eat this with a spoon or just drink it out of the cup. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, you've got food. I can eat food. Can I have some? No, no, you cannot. Thanks for stopping by though. But now that we're done with lunch, let's put this camera away, get the GoPro, and go hang out in the wave pool. The burger was good. It was very tasty. Those birds were super aggressive. Be careful if you come here and you eat, because the birds will probably take your food. I saw them take somebody's hot dog. This is one heck of a crowded wave pool. Let's see how far out we can get away from all the people. Mass pandemonium. One of waves coming in. Oh no. For how often it happens. Oh, pretty often I guess. Do you hear that mass pandemonium? I wonder if you can see anything underwater when it happens. You guys see anything? Time for another trip down the Crush and Gusher. I think I finally figured it out. It's not so much theming, because I think that both parks have theming, but these rides have a backstory. So here at the Crush and Gusher, it is a fruit factory, and you have a little crate that used to carry fruits that you get in and you ride down the wash slides from when they were washing the fruits. So it has like a backstory. I don't think anything at Volcano Bay has a backstory. There we go. Whee! Whoa! Ah, oh, the darkness again. I remember this from before. Oh, oh, oh. oh I feel like we're going faster than before though. Whoa! I feel like a cold. Whoa! Almost hit my head on the roof there, I felt like. Probably not, but it felt like that. Whee! Got about 25 minutes before Miss Tilly erupts again. So let's uh, go down the storm slides. Just waiting in line for the jib jammer. Whee! Oh man, this one hurts too. Oh, I feel like this one's not in as many tunnels. Whoa! 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 Ow, this hurts my back so bad. Oh geez, the every joint is killing me. Ow, 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 ow. Oh goodness. Oh, here we go. Splash down. I feel like you guys didn't even get wet. And now we are ever so slowly walking up the stairs to Humunga Cowabunga to see Miss Tilly erupt from up there. Good times. They'll be breaking about every 90 seconds. Have fun out there, but be careful. For your safety and enjoyment, please wipe blood on your back. Doing Humonga Cowabunga again. You guys ready?
That was fun. Nope, it's a big wave still. stuff heading off all over the place after it goes by. I think I'm going to take one last trip on Keelhaw Falls and Mayday Falls and then call it a day because I think there's going to be a storm that's rolling in pretty soon. Hope you guys don't get dizzy easily because I think we're going to be spinning this whole ride. Maybe not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, we're just we're just picking up feed now. Not doing any spinning, but going real fast. Woohoo! Yeah! Should we try to spin? Whoa! Whoa! Holy macaroni, we're going backwards real fast. Where are we? Oh, alright, we're good. Wow. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, geez. Oh! Ah. Oh, my goodness! This is crazy! Oh, so bouncy! Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh, we're going backwards now! Oh no! That's not good! I don't think I'm supposed to be going backwards! Oh jeez! Oh, I'm going forward again! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Okay, backwards again! Oh no! I don't know where we are! Oh, here comes Splashdown! Oh, we made it! We're good! One last trip around the Lazy River over to the locker. And I think we're gonna call it a day. We've kind of done a lot here today, over and over and over again. It's kind of interesting because I feel like there isn't enough to do other than the slides here. As opposed to Volcano Bay, there aren't enough slides to do and there's too many other things to do. Maybe I'm just like overanalyzing it, but I feel like the Fearless River is awesome at Volcano Bay. The Lazy River is awesome at Volcano Bay. The Wave Pool is fun at Volcano Bay. Here, just the Wave Pool is fun. This Lazy River is kind of like a little bit too lazy for me. And then the, all of the slides are walk-ons, but they're not too thrilling. I think there needs to be a more thrilling slide, like all of the ones at Volcano Bay, because all of them at Volcano Bay are pretty darn thrilling. It's definitely hard to say. I do feel like this park is the best for families, whereas Volcano Bay is like the way that Universal is to Disney, a lot more thrilling rides, so like more teenage and adult. I think that that's, would, you'd be a lot happier at Volcano Bay than you would be here. This is definitely a relaxing park though. If you're gonna come here with a bunch of people, it'll be a lot of fun. Before I leave, I wanted to show you at Singapore Sal's, they do have a fuel rod machine. This is pretty awesome. Inside Singapore Sal's, there is a fitting room inside of this like boat captain's quarters here. Pretty cool. I feel like this is sort of a good deal. Two for 40 bucks for towels, like big beach towels. That's not bad at all. Especially you could have this giant aerial face. Or grumpy or you're floating. Ooh, they have a little like ring toss game out here. That's fun. I played and I won. I got a prize. I got this rubber ducky with a mohawk. Now admittedly, I am leaving Typhoon Lagoon a lot earlier than I left Volcano Bay. Volcano Bay, I was there from open until close. Here I was here from open until like three. It closes at eight tonight. So I would imagine it probably gets just as quiet later on in the afternoon as Volcano Bay did. And this place you would get through so many darn slides late in the afternoon. So. That would be my recommendation. If it rains, come after a rainstorm. If it's open late, come later in the day and stay late at night until it closes because I think that you will get the most out of your day. Although, I got a lot out of the day today. We rode a bunch of slides over and over and over again. Uh, not really a fan of this Lazy River with as many people as there were. So if it were quieter, probably would have loved the Lazy River. But, I don't know. I'm gonna keep going. What we're gonna do is, if you guys haven't noticed so far, we are going to all of the water parks in Orlando this week. So. We will continue to compare them and contrast them and see which ones we like the best. So far I'm leaning towards Volcano Bay being the best, in my opinion, but I can't tell if that's because it's just new and I haven't experienced it as many times as like Typhoon Lagoon I've been to a ton of times, uh, Blizzard Beach I've been to a ton of times, Aquatica kind of a ton of times, not too many. Aquatica is going to be hard though because I can't film on as many rides in Aquatica. You can film on every ride here at Typhoon Lagoon. Uh, I think you can film on every ride at Blizzard Beach. Can't film on every ride at Volcano Bay. So I don't know if that's something that you guys do. If it is, those are some of the rules for you. But with that being said, I am off. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.